The principal of our school challenged us to get involved with Giving Tuesday, a nationwide campaign to give back to the community. Our leadership class brainstormed ways to participate. We just have to come up with an idea that we feel passionately enough about to put in the time and energy towards making it happen. Why don't we um, just volunteer at a soup kitchen and maybe we can get the whole you know, school involved. Um, why can't we donate food, clothes, and canned goods? It's a good idea, like working with homeless shelter or Mount Sinai. The homeless youth or the canned goods drive. I think we should show more awareness to the, to the homeless teens. I found this uh, really great website called uh, Safe Horizon. We decided to focus on homeless youth in Harlem, specifically the Safe Horizon Streetworks program. Before we started our project, we decided to pay them a visit. We learned a lot from our visit and we're excited about committing our Giving Tuesday efforts to raising money for homeless teens. A lot of people ignore homelessness, especially youth homelessness, um, and, and it's really invigorating to find that there are young people who are, who are thinking, about, you know, thinking about their community in this way. We started by organizing a coin drive on November 18th. Then we launched an online donation campaign a few days later. We set our initial goal at $1,000, not even thinking uh, twice about it. We thought that we wouldn't even reach 1000 but uh, we ended up quadrupling that amount. We used social media to promote our cause. Our tagline was, it could be me. We also sold wristbands to students for $2 each. By December 2nd, we raised a grand total of $4,530. We felt good about giving money to a good cause and raising awareness of a program that afflicts many students in our community. But we wanted to find out more. We invited housing expert Ellen Baxter to our school. People were, were visibly homeless on the subways and the parks. So I began to ask people questions. And to my surprise, most people wanted to talk. Nobody talk to them, they just walked by. And once I got in conversations with people, I realized that their individual stories were all distinct. This can happen to anybody, and, it, and it's so easy to happen to anybody. It's not a fact whether you're lazy or you don't want to get a job. It's There are forces that are acting that are not in your control. 